Hello and welcome to day 8 of the Atal Yatra. I am in Calcutta ready to head off to Bhubaneswar. It is 5:20 in the morning. You can see it is still quite dark out. Uh <clears throat> the hotel very kindly gave me a wake up call and a cappuccino for my morning start. So I'm just going to have that and get down. I'm almost packed. Uh the drive today is not extremely long. It is uh, I think about 8 9 hours without breaks. So nothing like the last two days that is the Kanpur Bodh Gaya or the uh, Bodh Gaya to Kolkata sections. So that is a <clears throat> big relief for me and I think yesterday's break has done me well. I might have overeaten a little bit in the night last night so I'm not feeling 100% right now I'm a little groggy and very stuffed still uh that'll sort itself out over the drive given that I was now on the east coast of India the sunrise was taking place much earlier than it was in the first half of the trip and that meant that I could take in the Victoria Memorial fairly well I also went inside and got to look at the grounds but unfortunately the museum wasn't open until much later. From here I started heading out of Calcutta and took the new Vidyasagar Setu bridge out which was also quite a nice experience and uh, despite it being relatively early around 6:30 or so there's still a decent amount of traffic out on the bridge i've just reached kolaghar after leaving kolkata in the morning this is the tea slash coffee stop it's actually quite foggy out shere punjab hotel shere punjab and uh, it's quite foggy out as you can see and yeah i think it'll be a quick stop 7:30 in the morning and uh, i should be crossing into odisha in another 2 hours or so so i will keep you posted and maybe show you the coffee i get to take this morning uh that's the hotel there that's one there we go if you zoom in yes just quite a clean washroom or kitchen at this morning hot shere punjab come um, i think there's a coffee or cream what the so it's a good place to halt in case uh, you need clean washroom and decent food we're back on the road the highway has just transitioned from lovely six lane to four lane and seems to be going yeah it's still whole in but uh, the road's been pretty good since the breakfast come tea halt and uh, yeah uh, making decent time heading to balasore uh showing about 125 odd kilometers a little over 2 hours and uh, i've been listening to this really nice podcast my sister introduced me to called white vault so that you can see there it's really going with this uh, foggy morning cool weather kind of vibe so i've been enjoying it quite a bit next update should be around balasore so i'll see you guys in about 2 hours and uh, let you know how the roads have been then Look at this road. It seems to be uh quite wide and laid out sort of like uh they do temporary runways up in the north. So yeah, quite cool. you could i think easily land a plane here if you shut off the traffic
taken a quick stop at a BPCL pump. We need to tank up and this is my first fuel stop for the day. We can find out how much it gonna come to. I still have about a little, uh, just under half tank. So I just wanted to get the fuel stop done so that I can uh, do a longer stint, maybe all the way up to uh, Bhuvaneshwar. I think I come to like 3,000 more, 2, 3,000 rupees. I'm about 120 odd kilometers away from uh, the Uvaneshwar stop, night halt, and uh, the roads have just become much wider, back to six lanes, and uh, no big rest stops, but there are some small, small restaurants around, and uh, there are also like plenty of fuel stations along the way. Uh, the ones that I stopped at only one of them, so it was uh, the previous clip. Uh, that was just before the road widened up, and uh, restrooms are as you'd expect. Uh, they're not extremely clean, but they're possible. Like there are enough fuel stations for you to go use the washrooms that you require. Apart from that, the roads very well laid out. Like the surfacing is good, and uh, the traffic's not too bad, at least for now. So fingers crossed, it stays this way, and I can keep a nice steady speed for uh, the next couple of kilometers. It'll also help with my fuel efficiency figures, which, by the way, I got the highest figures day before, on day seven. I got. I think 18.2 KPL for most of it. Only right towards the end, entering Calcutta, I dropped to 17.8, which is the best I've seen this entire time. Uh, but that's again on the trip computer. So, yeah. Just on the outskirts of Bhuvaneshwar, I was received by the Bhuvaneshwar Superbike Club which had turned up in a very strong number to show support for this entire drive and solo expedition, which I was very happy to see and it was a very big moment for me personally. I got a brief interaction with all the riders that had turned up to show support and I also got a good look at all the various super bikes and sports bikes that they were all riding. The Superbike Club was going to escort me into the city of Bhuvaneshwar and to my hotel and this entire ride was being led by this wonderful Honda Goldwing which led the way for the entire route. From here it was a fairly straightforward drive with all the other Superbikes right in front of me and I got to negotiate some of the tight traffic within the city of Bhuvaneshwar. However, it went off fairly seamlessly and I didn't get held up by traffic anywhere. Though you can see in the footage there were other riders that were trying to join in with the larger peloton of bikers in front of me. As I pulled into the hotel for the night, which was the Mayfair Lagoon in Bhuvaneshwar, I was greeted by my mom and my dad who had flown down to meet me at just after the halfway mark here. And uh, this really lifted my spirits. Also, close family friends of ours joined and uh, I was definitely in a very good mood from here on. 
I from this point also ended up uh, interacting more with the bikers that had turned up. We also grabbed a few quick photos with the car, and uh, then we actually headed off into the conference room here, where uh, there was some media there to greet me because uh, the event had gotten some traction and uh, they wanted to cover. And I also got to meet two athletes from Odessa. This was Ravi Kumar Katlu, who is a Commonwealth gold medalist and silver medalist. He is a weightlifter, as well as Duti Chand, who is a sprinter, hundred meter sprinter, and she is also the first Indian woman to win a gold medal at a hundred meter race at a global competition. It was really nice interacting with both of them, and they both had some very interesting stories to talk about travel and their uh, fascination with cars and road tripping. After catching up with them for a little bit, I also ended up interacting with some of the other bikers as we had lunch, and uh, also gave some uh, talking points to the local media that had come out to meet me, and uh, that pretty much rounded out my day. My ride today has come to an end. I'm in my hotel room, and uh, yeah, today's been quite a nice day. Going to Bhuvan, coming to Bhuvaneshwar. Um, the roads were pretty good for the most part. Few patches here and there. There's still uh, some road work going on, but for the most part, it was quite smooth. Also, I was really happy that uh, the Superbike Club here, Bhuvaneshwar Superbike Club, they came, welcomed me and uh, escorted me into the city to my hotel and uh, even meeting the athletes here Ravi Kumar and uh, Duthi Chan it was very nice interacting with them both of them do like uh, cars and road tripping and uh, it was really nice catching up with them as well as a lot of the guys uh, from the superbike club they were very interested in the trip and they were asking for a lot of uh small details of how the logistics were planned and things like that so i love the amount of interest they showed and uh yeah i am quite tired today i'm now going to just uh, wind up i've heard that the roads tomorrow to vishakhapatnam are actually very very nice from here uh not what the google maps uh, estimation which is about 9 hours most people are saying you can do it in about 7 uh so even with breaks that be like 8 hours max so i'm not leaving very early tomorrow morning i will instead uh, leave a little later maybe around 9:30 or so uh relax a little bit out here since the legs not too big and um yeah i will catch you guys tomorrow that's everything there is for today until next time cheers